Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Star Atlas tweets out yesterday. They have the ship out for sale. It is $30,000. Goes up for sale. Not a single person bought it. Not one. Now, feel free to correct me if I am wrong on this. I know plenty of Star Atlas backers have come to my channel. I really appreciate appreciate you guys' feedback. You are lovely. Everyone's being very polite. And I understand the things I'm saying might not be very nice and critical of the game you're trying to back. But uh, I feel our exchanges are very informative and I appreciate your kindness and politeness with that. So thank you very much. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on this. Star Atlas tweeting out yesterday. Uh, the VZ US ballad is up for sale. Get it now in the Galactic Marketplace suite. Let's go check it out. So here we are. Now, this is a large capital ship. There's 380 of them. Let's full screen this so we can get a better look like so. Uh, it's going for $30,000. So I don't want first things first. <laughs> I don't want to hear another urinalist from some rag out there complaining that Star Citizen has sold a ship for $1,000, right? Here's a ship being sold for $30,000, but no one bought one. Um, so here's the deal. It's a capital class. It's a big ship. Cool. Let me, let me go check it out. So if you are looking to buy one, or rather we can check very easily, I'm going to take this contract code up here, and I'm going to go to SoulScan, and I'm going to enter the contract in SoulScan, and I'm going to look. Now, Am I wrong here? Atlas, all right, I'm looking in Atlas. See, oh, my camera's blocking it. But where my camera is right now, uh, there is, uh, you can choose between Atlas, which is the native currency of US dollars. I'm choosing Atlas. Uh, no one has used the native currency, the native token Atlas to purchase this ship. It could be very much because Atlas has done this. Let's go to a log chart because it displays a bit better. So Atlas, the native token in Star Atlas, was as high as 25, hit lows around 7, back up to 17. But in recent months, it's come down to as low as 2 cents. Today, closer to 3 cents. So if you had owned or were earning Atlas in around the 10 to 15 to 20 cent range, and now it's at 2 cents, I don't think you are very likely, or at least you're rushing out to buy any kind of ship using Atlas as the token currency to buy that because it is so depressed. It's fine. Uh, let's go check out what happens if we look in US dollars. If you want to go buy this ship right now in US dollars, uh, how many people have done that? So I'm going to switch to US dollars. I'm going to grab the contract address up here. I'm going to go to Soul Scan. I'm going to punch the contract in. And um, am I wrong? Is this Have I done something wrong here? Because it shows zero trades for this ship in US dollars. Now it's completely possible that right now there's just no appetite for this. It's also possible $30,000 is just way too much for anyone to buy. But again, this is a pay to earn game. So if you're looking to invest in the true sense and earn interest and return and get money to return on your $30,000, you would go and buy this ship. But not a single person has actually bought that ship according to what I see on the block scan here. Uh, interesting. So again, feel free to correct me if I've done any of this wrong. Let's take a look at the other ship. So the other ship is the Busan Thrill of Life. And uh, hey, you want this cool ship? Can check out our marketplace. All right, let's do that. So here's the marketplace for it. Now, this is a fighter ship. There are 12,200 of them for sale, going for $946. I don't want to hear anyone complaining about Star Citizen. <laughs> this is a fighter ship selling for $946 US dollars. Uh, how many people have purchased this? So, uh, look, as far as ship design goes, uh, I'm getting kind of a Van Duel kind of vibe, right? The hard exo structure with a kind of lights underneath there. I'm not sure which artist did this, but it does look very pretty, and I guarantee he's probably from Star Citizen, whoever designed this ship also. Uh, I'm curious to see what this is going for. So let's go to trade. Let's go to, uh, let's first see what this does in their native token in the Atlas token. Going to copy the contract address as I did before, and I'm going to punch it into the block chain scan. And okay, we've got some movement here. So this ship has been purchased with the native token Atlas. We have one, two, three, four, not you, five buys. Uh, five people have purchased the ship with the Atlas token, which is better than the other one. But again, this is cheaper. This is 900 and 
47 dollars but let's take a look at uh, any sales now in us dollars so if you've just arrived to back this game you don't ha have any atlas and you want to pay with real money how many have been sold let's take a look at that uh okay better better all right so people who have paid 946 dollars for the ship uh since it's gone on sale there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 people have paid. Uh, so, I, I hate to do the comparison to Star Citizen because it's a much more established and much bigger community. But if I had to think back to the early days, around 2013 area of uh, Star Citizen, uh, there were days where they made five, six, six thousand dollars $6,000, but uh, the ships were a lot, a lot cheaper. So here we have a $946 ship they've sold Twelve, so they've made twelve thousand uh, dollars. That sucks. Sorry, guys. Uh, that does suck. I would be concerned at this point because if the ability of Star Atlas to raise funds is dependent upon the open market and market uh, conditions. Uh, every time crypto fluctuates and drops and people are not buying, they have no appetite, no one bought the $30,000 ship, this drastically affects the funding model. Added to that, there's an extra problem. And the extra problem is this. Because everything, these NFT ships are traded openly in a rather frictionless environment, unlike Star Citizen, where if you buy a ship in Star Citizen, uh, it's locked to your account. Now, there's ways to get around it, but it's difficult to buy and rebuy or resell ships once you've bought them. Not impossible, there are ways around it, but it's not openly traded. So if your ships are openly traded uh, and people can buy and sell them in a secondary market, does that affect your ability to sell new ships? I think it definitely, definitely does. So take a look at this. Uh, this site is um, it shows you the bids. Now, I'm not sure how they scrape this information. I'm sure it's uh, available out there in some blockchain. But essentially, looking at the very top one, oh, my camera is blocking it. So it's the PSC11. Now, this ship was sold for $90,000, and I'm just covering that with my camera. But believe me, it's there. Can I scroll it up? Okay, it's there. Uh, this ship sold, this big one here on the top, sold for $90,000. If you bought this ship for $90,000 and you want to sell right now, you go, you know what, I'm out. I've had enough of this. Uh, the best bid right now is $35,000. There's one guy, at least one person, willing to pay you $35,000, which is a 61% discount, a 61% drop from the price it was originally sold at. Now, this is fascinating to me because this is uh, the open market dealing with supply and demand and being priced uh, how they want to price it. So maybe you think, okay, people aren't buying $90,000 ships. No problem. Let's check out a cheaper one. The next one there is the Fimble Airbike, which was a $16.50 ship. Cheap, no problem. If you bought the Fimble Airbike for $16 and you decide right now, hey, I want to get out this project, I've had enough of it, and you want to sell, there's a guy willing to pay you $8 for it. Half price, all right? Okay, let's ignore the really expensive stuff and let's go for like reasonable stuff around a thousand bucks. Here's one called the Fimble B Y O S Erp. <laughs> Erp. Sorry for making fun of the names. It is, I mean, Erp is funny. Come on. Uh, it was sold for $895. And if you changed your mind and said, I want to get out right now, there's a guy willing to pay you $550 for it. Uh, look, this is the open market at work. This is what the market's decided, and blockchain makes it very visible and clear about exactly what's happening in the market for it. So overall, that's bad. That is bad if you bought the Fimble Ecos Bombarella for $36,000 and you want to get out, and uh, the only person willing to pay, buy it from you is paying twenty two. dollars so you're going to lose 40% right away on it. Not the best thing, but look, this is how the economy works, and uh, I do like what I do like is this experiment. I love seeing people trying to be innovative with NFTs. And I said this in the previous video also, uh, when it comes to NFTs, uh, and I'll, this is a good thing, Star Atlas is doing so much more than what other NFTs are doing. Other NFTs just make some picture and they stick it up in open sea and go, there you go, Star Atlas is trying something different. And for that, they get my respect that they're at least trying. But uh, from what we've seen so far right here with uh, the ship not selling, a $30,000 ship, not even a single buy on that, 
uh, the native token obviously doing badly with the rest of the crypto market. And uh, basically the secondary market not looking too hot. There's not much demand for ships which have sold and people want to exit. Uh, they're not getting a good return for their money on that. Uh, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you. Uh, we'll track this and come back to it in about a week or so to see how sales have gone, but overall bad and troublesome because making a space game and especially making a triple A space game as they are trying to do is going to be incredibly expensive and take many years. I even saw on the Twitter people saying, this is taking too long, this project is taking too long, backers saying, and they've only been there for a couple of months. Guys, let me just give you a, a warning right now. Uh, if you're in this, you're going to be in this for years if they're going to try to make any kind of decent game out of this. So uh, take that to heart because it's not going to happen next year or the year after that. The next thing you're going to see from them as I predicted in the previous one where there was the hangar module, the next thing you're going to see is an animation of a ship in space going to the planet, landing, and going to the hangar, and then being able to walk inside your ship. That's what's coming next, probably in a couple of months. Uh, and it's not me giving them the ideas. They track Star Citizen very, very, very closely, so they know what to do. And uh, I also am able to predict exactly what they're going to do in their next steps. Uh, but definitely a big concern is the pricing of the ships in the secondary market because no one will bother buying this new if they can get it half price on a secondary market, which is uh, an unforeseen repercussion of being an NFT on the blockchain as opposed to being uh, a little more... Uh, having more friction to a sale like Star Citizen does where it's locked to an account. In any case, uh, we'll keep an eye on this. If any of you do back this game and I've done something wrong with the way I've tried to check this, let me know. I'm uh, always happy to correct myself if I'm wrong. As always, if you enjoy my content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.